The rules around personal branding have changed. 2020 introduced new ways of selling to clients and communicating to our communities, and our brands have had to pivot as a result. Everything that happened in 2020 has affected our personal brands, from Zoom meetings to Clubhouse to Black Lives Matter and cancel culture. Yes, we're going to talk about these things today, so stick around to see what has changed for personal branding in 2021. It's Leanne, and just when I thought I had a handle on my own personal brand, 2020 came along and threw a big old wrench into everything. It completely changed the way I perceive myself, the way I manage crisis and challenges, and the way that I nurture my community. There's a lot to unpack about what happened in 2020 and how that's affecting our personal brands in 2021, and we're going to try and tackle that today. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. I post videos about personal branding each week and I don't want you to miss out on a thing. And stick around to the end of the video. I'm sharing one bonus tip about something you can do with your brand in 2021. And my friends, it's a gooder. So here are some considerations for building a strong personal brand in 2021. Number one, the belief that you actually have a brand. One of the fundamental principles of personal branding is believing that you have a unique and distinct personal brand separate from your colleagues and organization. You have an offering for your clients that only you can deliver in the way that you can, and that should be celebrated. Before you do anything else, trust that you have an incredible gift to be shared with your community. I did a video about the importance of personal branding not too long ago. You can check out that video right here. Consideration number two, get to know yourself. If 2020 brought us anything, it was time for some deep reflection on who it is that we are and our belief systems. Those reduced distractions created white space for all of us to consider who we want to be and what we want to project through our brands. In fact, I did another video about the eight areas of your personality that you can dive into to find things to amplify about your brand, and you can find that video again right here. Tip number three, be consistent with your time and talent. Again, if 2020 brought us anything, it was the way that we build community differently. And in most cases, that meant online community. So showing up regularly for your community online when they can't meet in person is going to be critical for growing your brand in 2021. Being available at the same time in the same place starts to create trust with your community and they're looking for that consistency in their lives as everything else may be spiraling out of control or in chaos. Consideration number four, and this comes as no surprise, master the virtual. A number of our industries have had to move online and away from those in-person formats. So learn to master the technology that you have at hand to connect and engage with your community. Consideration number five, master the social. Again, with the absence of in-person meetings, we need to meet in other ways. And social media is a great place to bring together people. LinkedIn is probably the most prominent social media platform if you're in a B2B environment, but if your audience is hanging out on other platforms, learn to master that platform as well and show up for your people. Consideration number six, show empathy. 2020 brought out a number of different emotions and affiliations in our beliefs. Being kind and being respectful of one's opinions on really any number of topics will help you create stronger relationships throughout the year. Respecting that each of us has a unique journey as we go through seasons of abundance and seasons of scarcity, that will become your competitive advantage. Consideration number seven, keep your brand respectful. 
In the same vein as showing empathy for varying opinions of your potential clients, show compassion by keeping your brand respectful of all individuals from all walks of life. If you have personal beliefs that can be seen as hurtful or controversial, consider the potential consequences of being open about those beliefs when you're building client relationships. Choose to amplify the aspects of your brand that are compassionate, empathetic, and of service to your community. And here's the one bonus consideration as you build your brand in 2021, and that is to be inclusive. Inclusive of race, inclusive of color, inclusive of gender identity and sexual orientation, 2020 shed so much needed light on many of the ways that our brands can impact individuals from all walks of life. So coupled with empathy and respect, create a brand that you can be proud of, one that is full of compassion and full of love. If you plan to play a bigger game with your personal brand in 2021, I would love to hear from you. Please jump in the comments. Let me know what consideration that you would like to focus on as you head into this new year. To learn more about personal branding, please check out my personal branding playlist here. And please stay in touch as you travel along your personal brand journey here in 2021. I'd love to hear how it's going and I wish you all the best as you develop a strong and compelling personal brand. Bye for now.